Oh, hey, I didn't see you here. I was just standing in my backyard reading my book like I do. Uh, no, but seriously, I was looking through it, trying to find some lessons that I could teach. And one of the many lessons I have in here is that if you've already made the sale, stop selling. This is one of the single biggest mistakes people make in sales. There's a lot of mistakes people make, but this is one of the biggest ones. If you've already made the sale, if the person is already decided that they're going to buy, stop selling. You see this a lot at like a car dealership, right? You're like, yeah, I like this one. And they're like, well, it's also got this and it's got this radio and it's got this incredible tire package. And it's got, and you're like, I right, dude, I'm good. And then they keep going and you're like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go buy this somewhere else, right? People make this mistake in a big way on the phone, right? So if you're doing one-to-one -one sales or higher ticket sales, this is where people really mess this up. Because the reality is in like a sales page or for something lower ticket, you want to give people a chance. So this is a real quick sort of trick for VSLs or video sales letters. Once you have that add to cart button and you've made your call to action of the price and you say, hey, go buy this now, click the button below, pause your video for five seconds on that page. And then what you do after five seconds, you go, hey, are you still here? You may have a couple of questions. And then you go into your FAQ or you go into a few phases of like, here's a few things that you may be thinking about right now. And then you sort of start to handle objections. What you don't want to do is go into objection handling when they don't have any more objections. So the single best way to deal with this issue of, of stop selling once you've already made the sale is to shut up. Silence is key when it comes to, you know, one-to-one -one or phone sales. When they're in that point where they're ready to buy, just be quiet. It puts a little bit of pressure. It's not pressure like you're trying to force somebody to buy. It creates a little bit of tension. Tension creates a feeling, and that feeling makes people want to buy. So what you want to do is make sure that you don't just keep rambling on, rambling on after people have already decided to buy. So this, this, the lesson here, silence is key. That little mini lesson is actually part of my book, Confessions of a Persuasion Hitman. You can get it for free. The shipping is $5.89. There's also an ebook and an audiobook version if you want to hear me read the book to you. Uh, just click the link below and grab it now if you haven't already done so.